Here's a study in Finland. They know that cardiovascular disease is number one cause of death. So they sent letters out to parents all over the country, and they said, we'd like to follow your kids for 30 years and see if we can prevent them from getting cardiovascular disease. Well, about 2,800 people said yes, and 2,400 of these kids, now young adults, were still in the study 21 years later. So every year they got their blood drawn and they keep all the blood. Um, they got their grades from school. How are you doing in school? Where are your grades? Any trouble with the law? Are you playing extracurriculars? Do you play any sports? They tried to get an overview of these kids' lives, parents' health and all that, to see what's happening here. Researchers, other researchers heard about this. Said, ah, ah, can we have some of the blood? I can understand how excited they'd get. Can we have some of the blood? We want to see if there's any silent celiac disease, which means under the waterline of the iceberg, you know, the eight to one, any of these that don't have like the obvious symptoms that were celiacs and what happened to them in their lifetime? They said, sure. The subjects with silent celiac did not differ from the rest of the cohort in age, gender, stature, weight, medical diagnosis, health concerns, use of alternative medications, physical activity, or their parents' causes of death. Same kids, same neighborhoods, all the same. But the celiac subjects, 5.3% of them went on to university or college degrees. Those that didn't have wheat allergies, 23%. The celiac subjects, 28% worked in managerial or supervisory positions. They're working hard, getting promoted in life. Non-wheat allergies, 45%. Do you see the significance of this? Do you know what this is? That's your brain on gluten. That's your brain off gluten. 